Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, in the last episode, we had seemed to have beaten the game. You know, we got the credits and everything, but in order to do that, we had to kill Richter Belmont, which, yeah, that, that didn't seem right. So, we're going to go ahead and check out the rest of the castle, because there is a lot of places that we did not see before. Uh, now that we have our ability to fly because of the bat and the mist, maybe we can find out some answers. Anyway, here is the map. Um, there's a lot of places that I need to go to, so I'm probably going to do them in segments, and each segment I'll bring up the map again to show you where I am just to see, so you can see where I've gone as I'm, as I'm moving around. Anyway, we'll go ahead and move on to... Uh, first place all right so we're at our first stop uh, if you'll notice on the map I am now actually in the Colosseum I got to the Colosseum by uh, exiting the keep and going through the Royal Chapel um, from the Royal Chapel I took the one of the right entrances uh, back to the Colosseum now in this room it looks very inconspicuous but right up here you'll notice that there's a area I can go in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. <coughs> and it leads me to the Holy Sword. Um, let me go ahead and equip it. Show it to you. Okay, Holy Sword is one less attack power. Strong versus undead. Um, it, it's, it's not a bad weapon. I mean, it's, it's fairly quick. Uh, for the for the sake though, I'm probably just gonna stick with the star flail for now though. But now that we've found that first secret, we are going to head over to the next one. Okay, my next stop took me to the alchemy laboratory. If you'll see, I'm actually in the room where we uh, fought our first boss, Slogra and Gaibon. I got here by going back through the royal chapel and uh, going down the long stairs where the little uh, skull guys were, the same place I got the Axe Lord armor, and coming back through the Alchemy Laboratory. Anyway, from here, we'll, we now have access to the bat. So we're going to fly up here. And there's actually an opening here we could not reach before. And here we find the bat card. Now, this is actually a pretty useful familiar, so we're going to go ahead and equip this right away. Um, this is the first familiar that we get that's actually um, fairly aggressive. So he will actually attack things with us. Um, another interesting feature is as he gains, gets uh, higher in levels, um, whenever I turn into a bat, uh, more bats will actually appear with me. I think I can get up to this bat and four other bats for a total of five those five bats whenever I fire a fireball they will fire a fireball as well so that's kind of a nifty little feature anyway with this secret out of the way we head to the next area okay I did not move very far to get here if you look on the map I actually just went a little south it didn't take me more than 30 seconds or so to get to this point from here We'll use our bat again to fly up to this upper area. Now in this room they have not all the sub weapons, but they do have quite a few here. I'm looking at it, they're missing the, the babooty, the, the holy ashes, and uh, holy water it looks like. When we go on forward over here, we find skill of wolf. Um, basically you gain a new ability with your wolf form. Not a very useful ability. Um, let me see. Basically, if I go down, down, forward, forward, and attack, I can do that little dash move. Yeah. Anyway, with that out of the way, we will head to the next area. Okay, you'll now notice that we went, we backtracked from the Alchemy Laboratory back into the main part of Dracula's Castle. The room I'm in now actually is the room where the, uh, the merman are, the moat, at the bottom area. But we're not at the bottom. We're at this uh, little rock area that I opened up before where you go through. But we're going to try something here. We turn into a bat. Go halfway through. And now we're going to turn into the wolf. And exit. If we go down here. 
will notice that this magically opened. You don't hear a sound or anything. I don't give you any hints to tell you that's going to happen, but it does. And going in here, we find a life apple and a jewel sword. Now, the life apple I talked about earlier uh, in regards to the rare drop on the harpies, if you have the fairy equipped and you die, it'll use up the life apple to bring you back to life. Uh, the jewel sword actually is a very interesting weapon in this game. Wow. What it will do is basically monsters no longer drop regular items, but they will drop jewels. Um, they mostly drop zircons and aquamarines, the two most common jewels, but they do have the ability to drop some of the more rare ones up to, if you're very lucky, the, the rarest jewel, the diamond. Uh, they also have another silly ability where if you do a down, down, forward, forward, plus your attack button, It'll do a swipe and it'll throw a bunch of little uh, one dollar coins out in the ground. All right. Now the reason we actually came here was another one of the secrets uh, we were gonna check out it's over here. So I'm gonna go back to flying, and you'll notice we find a life max up and the power of wolf. If we go to our relic screen, where is it? Run swiftly as a wolf. Basically now, you can actually, uh... Well, let's try and show it. You start actually going fast enough that you can do damage and plow through monsters. Yeah, that actually might be useful if you're... If you've got a long straightaway like that, but since the, the wolf is kind of limited as far as how fast it can, or how high it can jump and how uh, versatile it is when it's going at that speed, yeah, you, your mileage may vary. Anyway, with that one out of the way, we are going to head to the next spot. Okay, as you can see, I am now in the very middle of the castle. I am in the clock room. Uh, to get here, I went through uh, the castle. Uh, the, the main part of Dracula's castle up that long windy uh, area that I went to before um, when I had to do some backtracking I, th I think in video three maybe two anyway it brought me back here and we have this little this middle area that we haven't been to yet before so we're gonna turn into a bat and we're gonna fly up this long passage and there's two ways here so we're gonna go left first Get a potion, a hammer, and another life apple. When we go right, we will find the gravity boots. Now, this is a very cool relic. Um, what will happen is if you go down, up, and hit jump, you'll hit the wall. Now, another cool thing about it is after you do your down, up, jump, if you hit left or right, you can kind of change the directionality of the jump. Oh, not that time. There we go. And you can do it over and over and over as long as you have the MP for it. Alright, we're going to go up here to the next area. Back in Ulrox's quarters. Remember, we didn't spend much time here the first time. Um, basically, we went here only to uh, get to the Coliseum and to open up the teleporter room. So I don't know if you'll remember, but before there was uh, an area that we couldn't go to because it was too high. Well, you know, now that we have uh, our trusty bat familiar with us, we can get there. be going up here but we will actually be doing that in the next episode so tune in next time where we will explore the rest of all Rax's quarters uh this has been crime and partner thanks for watching you know, see you next crime